Hey, g'day Scarvig here, and we've just had a drop on Atlas on their forums. Uh, they've basically put up a new thing for us to peruse. It's not coming till next week by the sounds of it, but they've got trade system and ship ramming. And I actually found this one kind of interesting because uh, on August 13, it's quite a while ago now, I noticed with the farmhouse and the warehouse IDs, uh, it would be really cool if they actually introduced trade routes. Um, but actually my idea would have actually included having waypoints that you could set yourself but what they've actually done is they've created control points and so they're gonna have a new structure called a market the market will be connected to your warehouse and your farmhouses so you end up having basically like a little bit of a land uh, connected series of things and inside your market you'll have an interface which will allow you to trade with other markets and then it sounds like a just a standard ship will be spawned and off it will go and do the thing for you, uh, but you will, the interface will also tell you if your shipment gets attacked. So there's some interesting stuff that's going on there. Um, I thought it was a very good idea, and it looks like they thought it was a very good idea. They probably had the idea before I did, but I don't care, because they're implementing an idea that I actually thought would be really, really good. Uh, on PvP, apparently these control point islands, which is where the trade ships actually sail through, uh, you can control them on the PvP server, and so you'll actually get a, uh, a cut of the gold that is generated uh, on the trip, and it sounds like this gold is generated as a side note to the, the actual trade itself, uh, so the longer your trade routes, the more gold actually gets generated, uh, and if you control the control points, uh, you get your cut. But on a PvE server, apparently these control points are not controllable, uh, but it will click just a standard rate of tax. There is a little bit of a weird mention down the bottom, and now I'm going to find this one interesting from a PvE perspective, that you are able to steal from the tax bank. So that will be an interesting one, to see what that kind of content is from a PvE point of view. Because that one doesn't make sense to me, and probably won't until I see it. The other thing that I'm going to be interested to find out with the trade system is, uh, can you set up a trade route within your own markets rather than other players' markets? So if you're playing single player, could you set up a series of islands which have all of your six resources and then set up marketplaces on each of those islands and have them trade back to your central island where you are able to then basically collect enough resources so that you just can make what you want? And so the, the initial discovery of the islands, which is probably one of the more interesting parts, uh, you can just go to the island, discover what's there, find the different resources, set up a marketplace, and then you go back home. And you don't actually have to go back to that island again uh, to maintain whatever's going on, except for the fact that the warehouse and the farmhouse have a very weird control system. Um, I feel like they probably need to remove the farmhouse running on any kind of material, and it just works. Uh, maybe set up the wind as the thing that actually runs it and so the, the farmhouse works better depending on the strength and direction of the wind. I don't know. Um, something's going to definitely have to be done around the, the running of the farmhouse in my mind. Um, but it actually brings into play that the warehouse might actually have a use in that the... I don't know, I find the warehouse is still a bit clunky too. I mean, I, I reckon the warehouse should collect from every... Um, farmhouse on the island regardless of distance and so you have a single warehouse on the island a single market on the island but you might have two or three uh, farmhouses on the island collecting the different resources that are around the place I think that might be a better system but we, they've obviously got a lot to go you know they they talk in here about how they're hoping to increase the frequency of their updates and make them a bit smaller rather than having big updates uh, over months and have you know, over weeks they'll provide smaller updates which also sounds nice we actually get to see a little bit more uh, insight into their development activities which would be nice now with the ramming ship uh, so it looks like they're going to try and push the ships for gold system which will be interesting to see how that one actually plays out um that's it is something I, I don't really care one way or the other on single player where you can modify with your resources especially when you're working with a warehouse system if that ends up being quite good you're going to have enough resources that you can just churn out ships so having gold for ships is a little bit less interesting i guess from a starting point of view when you don't have very much uh, you might be able to do something with a small ship go and get some gold by doing some sunken treasures and a few other bits and pieces um, or even just a single uh, treasure and then you can just go and buy yourself a small fleet of, you know, basic, I wonder if they'll actually provide basic ships, so common 
or whether they'll actually provide the ability to buy for more money your masterwork or your legendary ships. That will be interesting. As for the new ship itself, the ramming ship, I think this is a bit silly. You know, they even say that down here the design was to provide an interceptor option. Now that's all really nice and good, but why not call the ship an interceptor? You know, you then have your, your sloop, you have your galleon, um, you have your brig, and you have another type, which is called interceptor. And rather than pigeonholing it to have an attachment on the front, which is your ram, why not make that an attachment? And so you can actually take out the new interceptor, and if optionally, you can put the ram on the front. And you could tie it to a median ship rather than having like the sloop or the galleon have the ability to have the ram on the front as well. And so that way, even your brig or your interceptor could have the ram on the front and give people a little bit more variety. You know, all these things that they're actually shoving on there, don't make them fixed, make them attachments. Give people the ability to play around with what they've got. Have a bit of fun with it. And while they're at it, why not just throw in a few other ship types too? I mean, that would probably go a long way. If you, people had a little bit more creativity to basically create different size ships and different attachments, I think that would be very, very nice. But we will see. We will see. The fact that it's actually got uh, some interesting things with the deck holes on the side. It'll be interesting to see what the new ship's uh, capabilities will end up being, nonetheless. Even though I think that it shouldn't be called a ramming ship and it should, could be, should be just a brand new ship with a, an attachment. Uh, doesn't matter. It's going to be very nice to see where they go with all this anyway. Alright, well thanks for listening in and I'll catch you in the next one.